Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks with Lynn Allen. This week we're going to focus on tips that have to do with paragraph text or, more notably, mText. So let's go into the mText command. We can get there by using the alias of T for text, of course. And uh, what I'd like you to notice right off the bat as I zoom in, I want you to notice that my sample text for mText is not that boring ABC we're so used to seeing, but in fact it's something that makes me much happier. It says the word catalyst. Now, maybe you would like to change your sample text to be something that brightens up your day a little bit. Why not, right? That is done by, by changing the value of the system variable, string. I'm not really sure what that stands for, but I know that it works. And don't feel bad if you didn't know about this. It's a very obscure system variable. And wherever I travel, I hardly ever find anybody who has any clue that this is, is what controls the sample text. So change it to something that makes you happy. Maybe it's your favorite football team or your favorite baseball team. I'm going to change it to Go Colts because I'm a big Indianapolis Colts fan. And now when I go back in the text string command or the mText command, you will see that it shows me Go Colts. I'm going to go ahead and place some paragraph text on my screen. I'm just going to put a paragraph like so and let's type in uh, just some sample text that is lowercase and needs to be uppercase. I'm sure that you run into situations where you've had a bunch of text on your screen from some drawing file. Of course, not yours because you would never make this mistake. And it was in the lowercase and you wish it were uppercase. One way of doing that, if you haven't discovered already, is inside of the mText editor. You just highlight the text that you want to switch, do a right click, go to change case, and change that to uppercase. So you'll also see there's a nice shortcut there, Control, Shift, and U. Or Control, Shift, and L if you want to go to lowercase. And let's say, and I'm going to show you one other way of doing that in just a second. And just so you know, another little tip, the fastest way to get out of the mText dialog box when you are finished is not to come up here and try to hit that OK. Just pick anywhere outside of the dialog box and that will make it vanish and it will be finished. Very, very nice tip there. So the last thing I want to show you is this great express tool that, called tcase that is even more efficient when it comes to changing your, the case of text strings. In this case, it doesn't care whether it's mText or, or regular text. It's not picky at all. You just select the objects that you want it to change. I'll just, go, just for fun, I'll go ahead and pick what we've already selected here, right? And it gives you this great dialog box with lots of different options. I mean, maybe you just want to have the case the opposite of what it is right now. That's that toggle case. Maybe you want it all uppercase, lowercase, or I'm going to try sentence case just to see how smart it is. And you'll see that it does, in fact, change the text so if it was a sentence only the first character of course would be capitalized so the tcase command give that a try it's going to make you really really happy so i hope you enjoy those tips and i hope you have a fabulous rest of the week thank you so much for joining me